like one of my biggest pet peeves is someone using their phone during a show, especially okay. on especially on Broadway. Oh wow! Like, I, it drives oh, me in the audience. Fr- yeah, it drives me freaking bananas. Like right. someone, you know, taking they don't have those yonder things text. yet. Uh, it's funny. I, do, I went to five shows last week in in uh, New York, and only one show had the yonder thing. You um, went to five shows last week. <laughs> you might be a theater dork, J.K. Fenster. Maybe I should have been more broad. <laughs> I do. I, I do what did you the see theater. last week? Okay. I was in New York for Thanksgiving week. Sure. Uh, Your sister's there, right? My sister is there, yeah. yes. Nice. And some cousins and uh, uh, some good S- friends. Some family. So let's see. Monday night, we saw Freestyle Love Supreme. That's okay. That's the, the, the um, Lin-Manuel Miranda was involved with that way before Hamilton. Okay. Uh, it's it's hip-hop improv games. Okay. Like that. He was not in this show, but he was involved in that. Sure. Tuesday night, saw uh, there's a new musical version of Moulin Rouge. Oh, wow. Uh, that I saw Wednesday afternoon. Uh, <laughs> we saw one of my other topics, I think, I don't know if you, if, if you have it on your list, was uh, Darren Brown, who's a, a British mentalist uh, magician mind reader that I've been obsessed with for over a decade. Okay. We can do a deep dive on him as well. Yeah. What was that show like? Uh, I, it was my third time seeing it. Um, and oh, and it... And it, and it Oh, that is interesting yes. to see a hypnotist, mentalist, yeah. Yeah. Um, illusionist. Exactly. And it's the it same my, show, right? Yes, it's a, it's it's a well, two-hour show. I saw it off-Broadway, I think, once, and then I've seen it on-Broadway th- uh, three times. And it has a lot of... It, it's sort of a greatest hits. He's a huge. He's hugely well-known in the UK, but, but this was his first uh, Broadway show. And when I saw it off-Broadway two years ago, that was his first time performing in the US. Okay. Okay. Um, but it had it had elements of shows he'd done before, so I had I had actually seen a lot of the I don't think they call them bits for if you're a magician, but I'd right. seen a lot of the oh you but uh, tr- tricks before okay, and they were maybe they're bits, mm-hmm. but but he, so he is a he's British yes. or he's U- from the UK yep. and he is um uh, an illusionist m- mentalist. What's yeah, the difference? He, well, uh, he calls himself a I think a psychological illusionist, so he uses. So what, what's great about him, among many things, is that um, he, he's 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 one of the magicians who's more of a debunker than a you know illusion kind of a oh, thing. Okay. So he 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 used very clearly. He does not have psychic powers. He likes exposing the you know he he oh, the he's mechanics very, of it. Yeah, well, it? he he's upfront about saying like these are the tricks that some people might use and claim they're psychic. I'm mm-hmm. not psychic. I'm just good at. I'm just uh, good at what I do, and you know he uses he uses sleight of hand and psychology and suggestion to okay. get to get people to do stuff. So it's very I would I wouldn't say it's highbrow, but it's very it's very smart and very practical. But it's but just as theater, it really works because it's also just really well written. The things the ideas that he plants in the first act pay off in the second act. Things that he things that seem like an accident, you realize weren't an accident later on. So it's okay. just very well. Well structured, and, uh, and he and reveals that. that during the course of the show. Yeah, and then it's not you like got pen, to see it exactly. So many it's not like too. exactly. So the more times you see it, the more you realize, ah, okay, that's how. It, like that, that, that was a written line that appeared to be, you know, his mind reading and all that. So, right. so when I when I say it's a mind reading act, I I, I don't. When I describe it now, I have, after I think I figured out how he does, yeah. the, the bulk of what he does. Uh, but the thing I like about him is that when I. When I've figured out, again, pretty sure, and I have some, I have some magician friends, as I'm sure it does not surprise you. Sure. Um, when they confirm <laughs> that yes, that's probably how he does stuff, it makes me like the act more and want to see it even more because right. you realize how good he is as an actor. Because if you're not actually reading minds, yeah, but you need people to think you're reading minds, yeah, you got to be a really good actor. You've got to have great timing. You've got to right. be able to pretend to struggle to do something. You've got to, you've got to know when to, when to pretend to make a mistake on something so that you can make it correct later. Oh, interesting. So all that stuff. I just appreciate his showmanship so much. Okay, um, yeah, and, and and I think he's one of the. I just I really believe he's one of the great entertainers, just in terms of how, how quick witted he is and how he. And this was an afternoon stage. show. Yeah, so it was a, it was the Wednesday matinee. It's a you know regular All Broadway ages. run. Okay, uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah Fanny Did Broadway show. Okay, uh, Wednesday night saw Hamilton. Thursday saw Jagged Little Pill. Okay, uh, so oh, you saw Hamilton? Yes. The um. The musical, the, the other, Pul- the other more recent Pulitzer Prize winning drama, right, uh, right, which was uh, interesting that that's, I suppose it is a drama, yeah. it isn't a comedy, no, uh, though there were some pretty good laugh yeah. lines. In same, it. same with Next to Normal. It's very, there's some very, very funny lines, but it's also about you know electroshock right. therapy and suicide. And oh, interesting. Stuff, yeah, yeah. yeah.